Hi, I'm Peter Burris, and welcome to another CUBE Conversation. This one is part of a very, very special digital community event sponsored by Datrium. What are we going to be talking about today? Well, Datrium's here with a special product announcement that's intended to help customers do a better job of matching their technology needs with the speed and opportunities to use their data differently within their business. This is a problem that every single customer faces, every single enterprise faces, and it's one that's become especially acute as those digital natives increasingly hunt down and take out some of those traditional businesses that are trying to better understand how to use their data. Now, as we have with all digital community events, at the end of this one, we're going to be running a crowd chat. So stay with us, we'll go through a couple of Datrium and Datrium customer conversations, and then it'll be your turn to weigh in on what you think is important, ask the questions of Datrium and others in the community that you think need to be addressed. Let's hear what you have to say about this increasingly special relationship between data, technology, and storage services. So, without further ado, let's get it kicked off. Tim Page is the CEO of Datrium. Tim, welcome to theCUBE. Thank you, Peter. So, Datrium, give us a quick take on where you guys are. Yeah, Datrium's formulated as a software-defined converged infrastructure company that takes that convergence to the next level. And the purpose of us is to give the user the same experience whether you're working on-prem or across multi-cloud. Great, so let's start by saying uh, that's the vision, yeah. but you've been talking to a lot of customers. Mm -hmm. What's the problem that you keep hearing over <laughs> and over that you're pointing towards? Yeah, it's funny, so, it's, so meeting with the number of CIOs over the years and specifically as related to Datrium, um, they'll tell you, hey, we're on an on-demand economy that expects instant outcomes, which means you have to digitally transform. And to do that, you've got to transform IT, which means it's got to be easy, it's got to be consistent, you've got to get rid of a lot of the management issues, and it's got to feel and take advantage of the services that cloud has to offer. All right, so uh, that's the nature of the problem. You've also done a fair amount of research looking into the specifics of what they're asking for. Give us some insight to what Datrium's discovering as you talk to customers about what the solutions are going to look like. Yeah, it's interesting. So if you look at how to resolve that, you've got to converge to transform in some form or fashion. If you look at the first level of convergence a lot of people have done, it's been directly as it relates to hardware architecture. We've taken that to a whole new level, um, to a point where we're saying, how do you actually automate those mundane tasks that take multiple groups to solve? Specifically, primary, backup, disaster recovery, all the policies involved in that. There's a lot of work that goes into that across multiple groups, and we set out to solve those issues. So there's still a need for performance, there's still the need for capacity to reduce management time and overhead, et cetera. But Tim, as we move forward, how are customers responding to this? Are you getting some sense of what percentage of them are going to uh, say, yeah, that's it? Yeah, so interesting. So we just threw out a survey and got over 500 people, IT leaders, to respond to it. And it's interesting because they talk about performance, management, security, but they're also talking about consistency of that experience. And specifically, we asked, how many of you is it important to have your platform have built-in backup and policy services with encryption built in, et cetera? And we got a 70% rate of those applicants, of those, those people interviewed, saying it's really important for that to be part of a platform. So it sounds like you're really talking about something more than just a couple of products. You're really talking about forcing customers, or you're not forcing, but mm -hmm. customers are starting the process of rethinking their data infrastructure. Have I got that right? Uh, that's right. If you look at how infrastructure has grown over the last 20 years, right? Um, 20 years ago, SAN technology was related. And every time you threw up an app, you had to put different policies to that app or put different one type management to how much of my resources can go to certain things. We set out to actually automate that, which is why it took us four years to build this platform with 100 programmers. Is, well, how do we actually make you not think about how you're going to back up? How do you set a policy and no disaster recovery is going to run? And to do that, you've got to have it in one code base. And we know we're onto something, even based on our survey, because the old array vendors are all buying bolt-ons because they know users want an experience but you can't have that experience with a bolt-on, you have to have it in your fundamental platform. Well, let me, let me, uh, let me step in here. So, uh, I've been around for a long time, mm -hmm. Tim, and uh, heard a lot of people talk about platforms, and if I have kind of one rule 
Uh, companies that introduce platforms that just expand right. typically fail. Companies that bring an opinion and converge more things so it's simpler tend to be more successful. Mm -hmm. Which direction is Daydream going? Yeah, no, we definitely, that's why we took time, right? If you want to be an enterprise class company, you can't build a cheap platform in 18 months and hit the market. Because where you architect, you stay. So our purpose from the beginning was purposefully to spend four years building an enterprise cl platform that did away with a lot of the mundane tasks. Sand management, that's 20 years old technology, right? Lun management. So if you're buying your multi-cloud type technology experience in cages, you're just buying old stuff. We took an approach saying, we want that consistent approach that whether you're running your services on-prem or in any type of cloud, you can instantly take advantage of that and it feels the same. That's a big task, because you're looking to run the speed of storage with the, um, the resiliency of backup, right, which is a whole different type of technology which is how our founders who have built the first version of this went to the second and almost third version of that type of, of, uh, of instantiation of a platform. All right, so we know what the solution is going to look like. It's mm -hmm. going to look like a data platform that's rethought to support the needs of data assets and introduces a set of converged services that really focus the value proposition to what the enterprise needs. So what are you guys announcing? That's, that's exactly right. So we've finalized what we call our Automatrix platform. So Automatrix, in, in, inerrantly in it, will have primary backup, disaster recovery, DR solution, all the policies within that, and encryption built in from the very beginning. So to have those five things, we believe to actually have um, the next generation experience across true multi-cloud, you're not bolting on hardware technologies, you're bolting on software technologies that operate in the same manner. Those five things have to be in Aaron, or you're a bolt-on type company. So you're not building a platform out by acquisition, you're building a platform out by architecture and development. That's right, and we took four years to do it with 100 guys building this thing out. It's released, it's out, um, and it's ready to go. So our first, we're announcing is that first instantiation of that is a, is a product we're calling Control Shift, which is really a data mobility orchestrator, true SaaS based, um, you can orchestrate prem to prem, prem to cloud, cloud to cloud. And our first iteration of that is disaster recovery. So truly to be able to set up your policies, check those policies and make sure you're going to have true disaster recovery with an RTO of zero, it's a tough thing. We've done it. That's outstanding. Great to hear Tim Page, CEO, Daytrium, talking about some of the announcements that we're going to hear more about in a second. Let's now turn our attention to a short video. Let's hear more about it. Lead Bank is focused on small businesses and helping them achieve their success. We want to redesign the customer engagement in defining the bank of the future. This office is our first implementation of that concept. As you can see, it's a much more open floor plan design that increases the interaction between our Lead Bank associates and our clients. With uh, Datrium split provisioning, all of our data is now on the host. So we have seen 80 times lower application latency. This gives our associates instant responses to their queries so they can answer client questions in real time. Downtime is always expensive in our business. In the past, we had a 48 hour recovery plan, but with Datrium, we were able to far exceed that plan. We've been able to recover systems in minutes now. Instead of backing up once per day with that backup time taking 18 hours, now we're doing full system snapshots hourly and we're replicating those offsite. Datrium is the only vendor I know of that can provide this end-to-end -end encryption. So any cyber attacks that get into our system are neutralized. With the Datrium solution, we don't have to have storage consultants anymore. We don't have to be storage experts. We're able to manage everything from a storage perspective through vCenter, obviously spending less time and money on infrastructure. We continue to leverage new technologies to improve application performance and lower costs. We also want to automate our DR failover. So we're looking forward to implementing Datrium's product to allow us to orchestrate and automate our DR failover process. It is always great to hear from a customer. Once again, I'm Peter Burris. This is a CUBE Conversation, part of a digital community event sponsored by Datrium. 
We've been talking about how the relationship between the new digital business outcomes, highly dependent upon data, and the mismatch of technology to be able to support those new classes of outcomes is causing problems in so many different enterprises. So let's dig a little bit more deeply into some of Datrium's announcements to try to find ways to close those gaps. We've got Suzala Reddy, who's the CTO of Datrium with us today. Suzala, welcome to theCUBE. Hey Peter, good to see you again. So, Automatrix, give us a little bit more detail and how it's creating value for customers. Yeah, so if you go to any data center today, you notice that for the amount of data they have, they have five different vendors and five different products to manage that data. There is the primary storage, there is the backup, and there is the DR, and then there's mobility, and then there is the security you have to think about. So these five different products are kind of causing friction for you. If you want to move, if you want to be uh, in the on-demand economy and move fast in your business, these things are causing friction, you cannot move that fast. And so what we have done is that we took, we took a step back and we built this Automatrix platform. It's has these data services, which are kind of, which probably that autonomous uh, data services. The idea is that you don't have to really have to do much for it. By converging all these functions into one a simple platform, that it, we remove all the friction you need to manage all your data. And that's kind of what we call Automatrix, the platform. So as a consequence, I got to believe then, your customers are discovering that uh, not only is it simpler and easier to use, perhaps a little bit less expertise required, but they also are more likely to be operationally successful with some of the core functions like DR that they have to work with. Yeah, so the other thing about these five, five different functions and products you need is that if you want to imagine a future where you're going to you know, leverage the cloud for a simple thing like DR, for example, the thing is that if you want to move this data to a different place with five different products, how does it move? Because you know, all these five products must move together to some other place. That's not how it's going to operate for you. So by having these five different functions converge into one platform is that when the data moves to any other place, the functions move with it, giving you the same, exist, same exact consistent uh, view for your data. That's kind of what we have built. And on top of all this stuff, is something we have uh, these global data management applications to control the, all the data you have in your enterprise. So how are customers responding to this new architecture of Automatrix, converged services, and a platform for building data applications. Yeah, so our customers consistently tell us one simple thing, is that it's the most easiest platform they've ever used in their entire enterprise life. So that's what we aimed for, simplicity for the customer experience, uh, autonomous data services give you exactly that experience. So as an example, last quarter we had about 40 proof of concepts out in the field. Out of them, about 30 have adopted already, and we're waiting for the 10 of the, the results to come out in, the, in this quarter. So generally we found that our proof of concepts don't come back. Because once you touch it, you experience the simplicity of it and how, how you get all these services simple, then people don't tend to just send it back, they like to keep it and kind of operate it that way. So you mentioned earlier, and I kind of summarized, the notion of applications, data yeah. services applications. Tell us a little bit about those and how they relate to Automatrix. Right, so once you have data in multiple places, people are going to adopt multi-cloud, and we are going to also you know, be in all these different clouds, and we provide that uniform experience. You need, this you need this global data management applications to extract value out of your data. And that's kind of the reason why we built some global data management applications as SaaS products. Nothing to install, nothing to manage them, it, then they sit outside, and then they help you manage globally all the data you have. So as a result, the INO people, the Infrastructure and Operations Administrators, can think in terms of Automatrix as a platform, the rest of the business can look at it in terms of services and applications that they're using and supporting. That's exactly right. So you get the single dashboard to manage all the data you have in enterprise. Now, I know you're introducing some of these applications today. Can you give us a little peek into those? Yeah, firstly, our Automatrix platform is, a soft, is a available uh, on-prem as a software-defined converged infrastructure. And you can get that, we call it DVX. And then we also offer uh, uh, in the cloud our services. It's called Cloud DVX. So you can get these. And we are also about, um, kind of announcing uh, the release of Control Shift. It's our for one of our first uh, data management applications, which kind of helps you manage data in uh, two different locations. So go a little bit more specific in a, or detail in a Control Shift. What yeah. specifically uh, is at w which of those five data services you talk about is Control Shift most clearly associated with? Right, so if you go to, again, back to this question about like if you have five different services, if you have to think about DR. So DR is a necessity for every business. It's sure. a digital protection, you need it. But the challenge is that, you know, the, there are three, four challenges you generally run into uh, with most common people talk about is that, one is um, that you have to plan 
you have to have a proper plan. It's, it's challenging to plan something. And then you have to think about the fire drill we have to run when there's a problem. And then lastly, when you actually push the button to fail over, does it really work for you? Like how fast is it going to come up? So those are three problems we, we kind of wanted to solve really like uh, really solidly. So we call uh, um, our services, the DR services, as fail-proof DR. That's actually it takes a little courage to say fail-proof. So Control Shift is our service, which actually does this DR orchestration, does mobility across the two different places, from could be on-prem to on-prem, on-prem to the cloud. And because we have this end-to-end -end data services ourselves, the, it's easy to then do compliance checks all the time. So we could do compliance checks every few minutes. So what that gives you the, is that the confidence that, that your DR plan is going to work for you when you need it. And then secondly, when you push the button, because you also primary storage and backup, it's then easy to bring up all your services at once like that. And the last one is that because we are able to then work across the clouds and provide the seamless experience, so when you move the data to the cloud and have some backups there, when you push a button to fail over, we'll bring up your services in VMware Cloud so that the idea is that it look exactly the same no matter where you are, you know, in DR or not in DR. And then, you know, if you watch the video, if you watch the demos, I think they'll, you can see that you can't tell the difference. Well, that's great. So, uh, give us a little bit of visibility into how uh, Daytrium intends to extend these capabilities. You know, let's give us a little bit of visibility in the roadmap. What's yeah. up next? So, we are already in Amazon with VMware Cloud. The next thing we're going to be delivering is Azure. Uh, that's the next step. But if, but if we step back a little bit, you know, how do we think about our, ourselves? Like, if you look at it as an example, Google. Google, you know, federates all the data, the internet data, and provides you that instant search, provides you that instant like you know, access to all the data, you know, at your finger fingertips. So we want to do something similar for enterprise data. Like how do we federate, how do we aggregate data and provide the, for the customer the instant management they can get from all the data they have. How do you extract value from the data? So the things, a set of applications we're building towards, I'll give you some examples are, we're building um, like deep search. How do you find the things you want to find in a, in a very uh, nice intuitive way? And how do you do compliance, GDPR? And also how do you think about um, you know, some deep analytics on your data? And so we also want to extend our control shift, not to just manage the data on all platform, but also how to manage data across different platforms. So those are the kind of things we're thinking about as a future. Excellent stuff. Cezal so Reddy, CTO of Datrium, thanks very much for talking to us about Automatrix, control shift, and the direction that you're taking with this very, very interesting new vision about how data and business can more easily be brought together. So you know what, I'll tell you what, let's take a look at a demo. In today's enterprise data centers, you want a simple way to deal with your data, whether in the private or public cloud, and ensure that dealing with disaster recovery is easy to set up, always compliant and in sync with the sites they address, and ready to run as the situations require. Built on consistent backups, allowing you to leverage any current or previous recovery point in time, with near zero RTO as the data does not have to be moved in order to use it. Automated orchestration lets you easily test or execute recovery plans you have constructed with greater confidence, all while monitoring actions and progress from a central resource. This, along with maintaining comprehensive runbooks of these actions automatically from the orchestration framework managing your systems. Datrium Automatrix provides this solution. Run on localhost flash and get the benefits of better performance and lower latencies. Backup and protect your data on the same converged platform without extracting it to another system, while securing the data in your enterprise with end-to-end -end encryption. Automating SLAs desired for your business needs with policy-driven methods. They capture the what, when, and where aspects of protecting your data, keeping copies locally, or at other sites. Efficiently move the data from one location to another, whether in your private or public cloud. This is the power of the software-defined converged infrastructure with Cloud DR from Datrium that we call Automatrix. Hi, and welcome back to another CUBE Conversation. Once again, I'm Peter Burris, and one of the biggest challenges that every user faces is how do they get more out of their technology suppliers, especially during periods of significant transformation. So to have that conversation, we've got Brian Bond, who's the Director of IT Infrastructure at eMeter, a Siemens business. Brian, welcome to theCUBE. Thanks for having me. So tell us a little bit about eMeter and what you do there. 
So eMeter is a developer and supplier of smart grid infrastructure software for enterprise level clients, utilities, water, power, uh, energy. And uh, my team is charged with managing infrastructure for that entire business unit. So everything from dev test, QA, and sales. Well, the, uh, you know, the, the intelligent infrastructure as it pertains to electronic grid, that's not a small set of applications, a small set of use cases. What kinds of pressure is that putting on your IT infrastructure? A lot of it is the typical pressures that you would see with do more with less, do more faster. Um, but a lot of it is wrapped around our customers and our, our other end users in needing more storage, needing more app performance, and needing things delivered faster uh, on, on a t daily basis, things change. And keeping up with the Joneses gets harder and harder to do um, as time moves on. So as you think about Daytrim's Automatrix, how is it creating value for you today? Give us kind of a peek into what it's doing to alleviate some of these scaling and other infrastructure pressures. Right. So the first thing it does is it does allow us to do a lot more with less. We get two times the performance, five times the capacity, and we spend zero time managing our storage infrastructure. I mean, and I'm, when I say zero time, I mean zero time. We do not manage storage anymore with the DATM product. We can deploy things faster, we can recover things faster, our RTO and our RPO matrix is down to seconds instead of minutes or hours. And those types of things really allow us to provide a much better level of service to our customers. And it's uh, especially in critical infrastructure like the electronic grid, it's good to hear that the RTO, RPO is getting as close to zero as possible. But that's the baseline today. Mm -hmm. Look out, and as you envision where the needs of these technologies are going for improving protection, consolidating converging data services, and overall providing a better experience for how a business uses data, uh, how do you anticipate that you're going to evolve your use of Automatrix and related te Daytrim technologies? Well, we fully intend to, to expand our use of the existing piece that we have, but then th this new Automatrix piece is going to help us not with just deployments, but it's also going to help us with compliance testing, uh, data recovery, uh, disaster recovery, um, and also being able to deploy into any type of cloud or any type of location uh, without having to change what we do in the back end. Being able to use one tool across the entire set of the infrastructure that we're using. So what about the tool set, you're using the whole thing consistently, but what about the tool set when in easiest for you uh, within your shop? Uh, installing the infrastructure pieces themselves in its entirety were very, very easy. So putting that into what we had already and where we were headed was very, very simple. We were able to do that on the fly, in production, um, and not have to do a whole lot of, of changes with the environments that we were doing uh, at the time. The, the operational pieces within um, the, the DVX, which is the, the storage part of the platform, were seamless as far as vCenter and other tools that we were using went, and allowed us to just extend what we were doing already and be able to just apply that as we went forward. And we immediately found that, again, we just didn't manage storage anymore, and that wasn't something we were intending, and that made our RI just go through the roof. So it sounds like time to value for the platform was, was very, very quick. And also it fit into your overall operational practices, so you didn't have to do a whole bunch of unnatural acts to get right. there. Right, we did not have to change a lot of policies, we did not have to change a lot of procedures. Um, a lot of times we just shortened them. We took a few steps out in a lot of cases. So how is it changing, being able to do things like that, changing your conversation with your communities that you're serving uh, as they ask for more storage or they ask for more capabilities? First off, it's making me say no a lot less, and that makes them very, very happy. Uh, the answer usually is less, and then the answer to the question of, well, how long will it take? Changes from, oh, we can get that done in a couple of days, or oh, we can get that done in a couple hours, to uh, I did that while I was sitting here in the meeting with you, and it's, it's been handled, and, and you're off to the races. So it sounds like you're placing a pretty big bet on Daytrium. Uh, what's it like working with them as a company? It's been a great experience uh, from, from the start. Um, in the initial piece of, of talking to them and going through the POC process, they were very helpful, very knowledgeable SEs. Um, and, and since then, they've been very, very helpful in allowing us to tell them what our needs are rather than them telling us what our needs are and going through and working through the, the new processes and the, and the new procedures within our environments. Uh, they've been very instrumental in performance testing and deployment testing with things uh, that a lot of other storage providers 
didn't have any interest in talking with us about. So they've been very, very helpful with that and very, very knowledgeable. Um, the people that are there are, are actually really smart, which is not surprising. But the fact that they can r relay that into solutions to what my actual problems are and give me something that I can push forward onto my business and have uh, a positive impact from day one ha has been absolutely, without question, one of the better things. Well, that's always one of the big, biggest challenges when working with a company that's just getting going is how do you get the smarts of that organization into the business outcomes that really succeed? And it sounds like it's working well. Absolutely. All right. Brian Bond, Director of IT Infrastructure at eMeter, uh, Siemens Business, thanks again for being on theCUBE. It's been great. And once again, this has been a CUBE conversation. And now what we'd like to do is don't forget, this is your opportunity to participate in the crowd chat immediately after this video ends, and let's hear your thoughts. What's important in your world as you think about new classes of data platforms, new roles of data, new approaches to taking greater advantage of the data assets that are differentiating your business? Have those conversations, make those comments, ask those questions, we're here to help. Once again, Peter Burris, let's crowd chat.